Hello, everybody. So I was just going over my nightly news and seeing a story that I'm like, whoa. Uh, you know, we waited many years for the James Webb telescope, right? Look at this headline. It says, NASA's $10 billion time-traveling space telescope hit by a micrometeorite. Now, of course, they plan for things like this, but, you know, all it takes is one well-placed one. That's it, kaput, gone. So check this out. All right. It said, a tiny piece of rock has just smashed into NASA's new James Webb Space Telescope. Recently, one of James Webb's 18 mirrors was hit by a micrometeorite or a piece of meteorite so small it could pass through Earth's atmosphere without burning up. Still, these little things, it doesn't matter. They still travel at a high velo super high velocity. It says, while this can be problematic as impacts may move Webb's mirror segments out of place, NASA researchers say there is no need to worry. Uh, think about it. I mean, okay, great. We'll still get pictures and all that, but don't tell me that if micrometeorites are hitting that telescope, I mean, little shakes they were worried about. You're telling me it's getting hit by a micrometeorite? Don't worry about it. I mean, I understand why they would say that. You know, there's a lot of investment in this thing in a lot of years. But, again, NASA's full of great scientists, so, you know, and so is the ESA, the European Space Agency. It says not only was the $10 billion space instrument designed to withstand the damages of space, but it also comes equipped with sensors to adjust its own mirrors. Okay. Should that fail, mission control can adjust Webb's mirrors from Earth. So I guess this little thing, when it hit it, it knocked it out of whack, right? Just after we spent all those months getting it focused and aligned, we always knew that Webb would have to weather the space environment. Uh, this includes harsh ultraviolet light and charged particles from the sun, cosmic rays and foreign sources in the galaxy, and the occasional strikes by micrometeoroids. Uh, we designed and built Webb with performance margin, optical, thermal, electrical, mechanical, to ensure it can perform its ambitious science mission even after many years in space. And then it shows here, it says a tiny piece of space Rock has just smashed into NASA's new James Webb Space Telescope. This thing is beautiful, though, isn't it? It says the micrometeoroid struck the telescope sometime between May 23rd and May 25th. Researchers are saying that the impact may help them to better understand Earth's sun, Lagrange Point 2, which, that's L2, which is where Webb is currently in orbit. It may also help scientists develop strategies for protecting the telescope in the future. Look at this. Check this out. It says, since launch, we, we have had four smaller measurable micrometeoroid strikes that w were consistent with expectations. And this one, more recently, that is larger than our degradation predictions assumed. Web Optical tel Telescope um, Element Manager of NASA, Goddard, said, we will use this flight data to update our analysis of performance over time and also develop operational approaches to assure we maximize the image performance of web to, to the best extent possible for many years to come. So you see what I mean? The micrometeoroid, they didn't expect this one. So I just hope, like, I mean, look, Hubble's been out there f for nearly three decades and everything, but this is a wide open mirrors. You know what I mean? I just hope, like, I want the whole, time frame like the five years or ten years worth you know what i mean but at least let us get some pictures first before like you start getting hit man so anyway i believe oh man am i wrong i think oh it's july i think it's july 12th is when they're going to start um um the experiments and I believe first round of pictures, photos. So mark that down. Um, 
that's sometime um, that's going to be something. I, I think we're going to, I hope, I wish they would just share total transparency because just imagine, imagine looking out and actually able to see another civilization. Wouldn't that just be amazing? Ooh. And just so quick while I'm here, you know, usually I do the close approaches of the asteroids. Well, then um, there's really nothing going on, which is the less you hear of me about this, that's great. All right. Because I usually I'm not going to report this to you, like make a separate video when they all average three million miles, four million miles and all that. I usually do them when they're a million or less. Like this one, still, that's not going to impact us and nothing will come near us. But I just figured while I'm here, I'll show you. So, well, we got a 50 footer, 130, 130, 154. Okay. All right. But check out that other video on that one that can impact us in, I think, 2043. But one in 2200 odds. We're going to keep an eye on that one. So, anyway, let's keep our fingers crossed. Hope good old James Webb Telescope um, does his thing. Till next time, talk to you all. Take care.